Savers. Welcome back to Miss Ray Saves. I'm your girl Raquel, but you can call me Ray. Guys, in today's video, we are going to be stuffing my sinking funds with funds from my February 28th paycheck. So if you are interested, please keep watching. Okay, guys, the first thing we're going to do is go ahead and um, count and place my cash into my cash tray. Now today I will be stuffing $172, so let's go ahead and count it. 20, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 95, 100, 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45, 50, 55, 56, 57, 58, 59, 60, 61, 62, 63, 64, 65, 66, 67, 68, 69, 70, 71, 72. Okay, guys, I have my tracker here and we'll address this in a minute, but we're going to go ahead and start our stuffing. So... The first thing we're going to stuff is back to school, and back to school gets $9, so that's going to be um, one, five, and four ones. And let's see. After stuffing back to school, we should have, what, 100 and, let me see. I don't know why I didn't do this, plus nine, $115. And I will track this part later so I don't have a long video. 20, 40, 60, 70, 80, 90, 95, 100, 5, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. 20, 25, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35. Next, we have car registration. Car registration gets $4, and that should take us to 20. And it's getting four ones. One, two, three, four, 10, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. Next, we have car maintenance. Car maintenance gets $10. It's getting two fives. It currently has 40 in here, so that should take us to 50. One, two, so 20, 40, 45, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 95, 100, 110, 115, 120, 125, 130, so this should take us up to 30. It's getting one five and one one. So 20, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30. Next we have Thanksgiving and Christmas dinner. That gets um, $5. And it currently has 20 in it, so this should take me to 25, 20, and 5. Next is Candle Day. Candle Day gets $5. And it is currently at 20, so that should take us to 25. It gets a 5, 20, and 5 for 25. 
Next we have Holiday Gifts. Holiday Gifts gets $15. It gets a 5 and a 10. It currently has 60 in here. So that should take us to what, 75? So it gets 110 and 15, 20, 40, 60, 75. And then we have clothes. Clothes gets $10, so it's going to get 110. We currently have 40 in here, so this should take us to 50. 10, 20, 40, 50. And then we have tires. Tires gets $28. It currently has 112. So what that should take us to 140 if I'm not mistaken, but we'll see. <laughs> um, so it gets 120. 15 and three ones. So now tires has 100, 120, 130, 135, 36, 37, 38, 39, 40, 140. And um, as you guys know, um, when I did my last sinking fund stuffing video, yearly renewal was satisfied, which means that um, my goal was to stuff this with $80, and I already have $80 in this envelope 20 40 60 80 so we are done stuffing it and the five dollars that i would stuff in this envelope is going to go to another envelope so that is it for um stuffing my envelopes okay savers the next thing i need to do is add my extra cash that i have into my sinking funds and remember guys i do this because my goal is to get my sinking funds um, funded um, a little earlier than when they were, are due. So any extra money that I have in my cash um, reserve when I do my budget or any extra money I get for maybe a side hustle selling things on Facebook Marketplace will go to my, um, to my sinking funds. So I actually have an extra $73 that I am going to be um, putting into my sinking funds. Now, 30 of those um, $73 comes from my envelope, um, one of my envelopes, which was my cash envelopes, I'm sorry, which was my entertainment envelope. Since we have what's going on in the environment right now, um, I noticed that I was not using my um, entertainment cash envelope. So I decided to stop stuffing that envelope for now and allocating it to my sinking funds. In addition to that, as you guys know that I just explained, I am done finishing stuffing my yearly renewal. So that extra $5 will go to the next sinking uh, um, fund envelope that's due. And um, I had um, $20 in cash reserves for my budget that I was going to put in it. And in addition to that, I had an additional $18 that I was able to put in as well because um, I got an $18 credit from my cable company because a couple weeks ago we had some snowstorms and two days my cable went or my internet went out. And I don't know about you guys, but I work from home and I need my internet. So it was a total of about six hours, four on one day and four on another day that I was without internet. So me and my daughter could not work. So of course, I called the cable company and they um, gave me a credit for $18. And I had already had $149, which is what my cable slash internet bill is. I had already had that um, allocated in my actual budget. So since I had that extra 18, I went ahead and said, you know what, I'm going to go ahead and put that to my sinking funds. So that is what we're going to do. I have $73 that I'm going to put toward my sinking funds. And guys, as you can see here, you move this over a little bit. This is where I'm at with my sinking funds. Um, remember, yearly renewal was satisfied already. And what I am doing is I am 
paying um, each sinking fund will get its every two week amount, but any money I have left over will go to the next sinking fund that is coming due first. So we have back to school. Um, back to school had $106 in it. Let me get out my calculator. So let's do this. The goal for back to school is 160. I had 106 in there already. And remember, I just stuffed it with $9. So um, the balance on that is 45. And of course I have $73 here. So I'm gonna take $73. I'm gonna take 45 of that 73 to go ahead and satisfy my back to school and I will be done with that one. So let me go ahead and do that real quick. So back to school is right here. I'm going to give it 45. That's 20, 30, 40, five. And that should bring me to my 160 for back to school. So let's count it really quick. Twenty, forty, sixty, eighty, ninety, one hundred, ten, twenty, thirty, thirty-five, forty, forty-five, fifty, fifty-five, fifty-six, fifty-seven, fifty-eight, fifty-nine, sixty. So back to school, I am done with. So let me go ahead and mark that off real quick, if you guys don't mind. So one sixty minus one oh six. I actually put $54 in here and I am done with that. Okay, so I still have left, let's see here, 10, 15, 20, 25, 26, 27, 28. So I have $28 left over, so it's going to go to the next sinking fund, which is Fall Decor. Now, Fall Decor, I already put $7 in, so 7 plus, how much was this again? 10, 15, 20, 25, 26, 27, 28, 28, 29, 30, 35. So 28 plus the 7 I already put in is 35. So 28 plus 35, I've put $63 in to that sinking fund. So 63 minus 150, no, Roy Kill, 150, which is my go, minus the 63, I'm left with the balance of $87. So, real quick, for my fall decor, let's put that in there and we're going to count it real quick. I should have $63 in here. And then we're going to be just about finished with this video. So let's hope I'm correct. We should have 63, 20, 30, 35, 40, 45, 50, 55, 56, 57, 58, 59, 60, 61, 62, 63. All right. I'm so happy when things work out the way they're supposed to. So we are done with my sinking funds. What I wanna do real quick is add up what my new balances are really quick. So, car registration, um, my goal is $80. I had 16 in there, I added four, um, so that's 20. So I should have 60 in there, and we've already counted it. 
Um, car maintenance, the goal is 700. I had 40 in there, I added 10, that's 50. So I still have, what, 650 to go. For Christmas decor, my goal is 150. I had 24, we stuffed it with six, which makes that 30. So I now have 120 that I need to stuff. For Thanksgiving and Christmas dinner, my goal is 120. I had 20 in there, I stuffed it with five, so that leaves me at what, one at $95? Yep, 95. And as you guys can see, I got a new calculator because that small pink one that I was using was not working. This is a lot better. Candle day, the goal is 125. I had 20 in there. I stuffed it with five. That equals 25. 125 minus 25 is 120. Holiday gifts, my goal is 350. I have 60 in. I had 60 stuffed it with um, 15, that brings it to, what, 75? 350 minus 75 is 275. But I'm going to count, um, check my math. 350 minus 75, yep, 275. Um, clothes, the goal is 250. I have 40 in there. I stuffed it with 10, so that's $50. That takes me to 200. Tires, my goal is 20, um, 1,000. I had 112 in there. I stuffed it with 828, which takes me to 140. 130, let me see, 1,000 minus 140. That takes me to 860. So, and even though these numbers are small numbers, guys, no matter how much you are stuffing in your envelopes, they always add, um, they always matter. No matter what the amount is, just make sure that you, if you can, try to stuff where you, where you can. Now, um, that is going to be it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. And I thank you guys so much for continuing to support me. I will see you guys in the next video. God bless. Bye.